there's, there's been a number of prophecies over South Africa dating back 108 years that revival will come from the southern tip of Africa. And uh, we have this strong sense that the revival that's been prophesied can't happen in the absence of governance and taking rulership, just as President has been talking about. So the ACDP has two specific legs. One is the breaking down of the altars of Baal, and the other is re-establishing the links and the, the, the relations with Israel. Can you share basically what the ACDP stand is on those issues? Um, what might surprise many people is to hear that politics is based on religions. Whether it's humanism or Freemasonry or African witchcraft, politics is based on one form of religion. And so, it is important for Christians to know that ACDP is planning when God gives us the government to bring the government of South Africa under the lordship of Jesus Christ. We have rituals that are conducted by government. We have altars that have been built in South Africa where the dead are honored and worshipped by people in politics. And yet you'll hear many of such people saying, keep religion out of politics, when the very politicians are pursuing other religions. So what the ACDP will do when God gives us the country and the government? Firstly, we will destroy altars to Baal, to ancestors and others, and we'll erect an altar to the glory of God as we submit this country to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. But the second interesting thing that we will do that will also, I believe, fulfill the vision that God has given us that is also in the name of the party. Now, ACDP stands for African Christian Democratic Party. When it was formed, there were some individuals who said, we should just be Christian Democratic Party. Others said, South African Christian Democratic Party. But the Lord gave us clear instructions. He said, African not to highlight ethnicity, but to show the vision that I've given you to be continental. God has given us a continental vision, a vision of having other Christian governments on the African continent. And when that happens, we will do something that will bring uh, transformation, revival, and prosperity to Africa. What is it? Let me take you back to the late 60s until early 70s. Until late 60s and early 70s, most African countries' currency was stronger than the U.S. dollar. South Africans will remember there was a time when the South African rand equaled two U.S. dollars. The Zambian currency, the Kwacha, when, in the early days when Dr. Kenneth Counter was the president, their currency was equal to the British sterling pound and much stronger than the U.S. dollar. Malawians will tell you the same thing. DRC, they will tell you the same thing. The question that people should ask is, what happened? All these countries, their currencies were stronger than the U.S. dollar. They were prospering. They did not have the poverty we have today. But things have changed. When I was last in Zambia about four years ago, the same currency that used to be equal to the British sterling pound, stronger than the US dollar, actually, they say it was about five US dollars to their currency. When I was the last there, it was 3,500 their currency to one US dollar. When you ask the question, what happened? Why the change? Something common happened in all these countries. When they were prospering, they had a very close economic relations with Israel. Remember Genesis 12, where the Lord said, verse 3, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. 
And he continues to say, all nations of the earth will be blessed through you. There is historical evidence. Anybody who wants to dispute this must go into history. There is historical evidence that when African countries had a close working and diplomatic and economic relations with Israel, their countries prospered. What happened in Egypt in um, 1972, around 1972, when Egypt went to war against Israel? The Egyptian president went to African leaders and said to them, I know that Israel is your friend, but I am your brother as an African. I'm your brother. So now, brother is fighting against a friend. You cannot fight, stand with a friend against the brother, but brothers must stand together. So stand with Egypt and uh, terminate your relations with Israel. Most countries, they did that. And some of them, we understand, they gave Israel 48 hours to leave. And what happened to the economies? To get nose dive. They collapsed. Until today, go to those countries. The economies are finished. But we believe God has raised the ACDP to ensure that those economies are resurrected. How will that happen? We will form strong partnership with Israel. And when that happens, the blessing of the Lord will come on this nation to an extent that our neighbors will ask the question, what is the source of your prosperity? What is the source of your blessings? And we'll say to them, it is not only the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but it's because we are doing what the scriptures are saying. We are working with the people of God. We are working with Israel. That is why these blessings are upon the nation. So Africa's hope is still there, and the ACDP is the key to that hope to be realized. As the ACDP is going to embrace Israel, as we are embracing Israel now, and ensure that all African countries come into that working relationship and economic relationship with Israel. And that what hap when that happens, this will be a different continent, I believe. It will be a different continent.